Welcome to our demonstration of Rational Developer for Z. We're going to be demonstrating how to register an external web service with CICF. Now in this particular presentation, we're going to use the Enterprise Service Tools perspective. So we right click on the EST Project Explorer and we want to create a new web services for CICF project that will bring up this dialog box. The name of our project is Lab CICS SVR Time. Because we started with a right click in the EST Project Explorer, we have to change a few things. The development scenario is going to be create new service implementation top down. And our application mode is going to be service requester because we're trying to invoke a web service that already exists. For this, this demonstration, we're going to use a conversion type of interpreted XML. We'll click Next. Now we need to go find our WSDL file. This WSDL file is called svrtime.wsdl, and it represents everything that we need to have in order to invoke the web service. When I click Finish, it will create the CICS uh, the web services for CICS project and it will bring up this wizard which is the web services for CICS create new service implementation top-down. Now because our WSDL file started out as SVR time, the program name is going to be SVR time. The application language is good, it's going to be COBOL. Our service properties, uh, the binding element comes from the WSDL file the list of available operations comes from our WSDL file, and we want to have all of them checked. And we click the Next button. Now the Target Artifacts page uh, enables us to generate all of these different things. We we'll generate structures, a WS bind, the COBOL template, and also properties. We want to make sure it's the same project. The, inform the, the request structure is going to be in a copy book COBOL copybook called i01.cpy and the response structure is going to be in a copybook called o01.cpy. That looks good. Our WS bind file, which we need to put in the pickup directory of an outgoing pipeline on ZOS, is going to be called svrtime.wsbind. Then our COBOL template is svrtime.cbl. That's the COBOL program that we, uh, it's just a template, so we have to actually use that to create a program that calls the web server. And then it creates a bunch of properties in XML files. So for this particular demonstration, we're not going to de deploy directly to ZOS, and we click Finish. Let's take a look at the COBOL program. In the COBOL program, it has all of the structures needed to call the web service. But before you can call the web service, if a web service requires something in the request, there's room here where you would actually fill in uh, the request. And then if you want to do something with the response that comes back, there is a place here to work with the response. So this COBOL program is simply a template. And you can actually take templates for multiple uh, web services and integrate them into a single COBOL program if you have to have one COBOL program call many web services. Uh, the WS bind file is really important to put in the uh, pickup directory of an outgoing pipeline. And then from ZOS, it will actually call the web service using the requester URI. Thanks for watching this video on Rational Developer for Z. This is part of the essential web services for CICS COBOL. Thanks for watching.